uh, still uh, sucry for mine, a, uh, a market of opportunity, but a, a market which is uh, really volatile and the opportunity you've got to be bloody good to get right. Was that a 25 pip pullback on Bitcoin during the week? Yeah, there was a pullback, but let me show you what's going on. And, and let's start at the fundamentals first, because Bitcoin has on-chain data, which is good. You know, you can see a lot of things. Okay, now, you know, there was a tweet by Elon Musk that said <laughs> everybody's scurrying, but uh, I think this is a sign that people are getting more mature. I did not see any news saying there were a lot of liquidations. So during this time, I think people got burned already before the Elon dump. And, you know, this is already an extreme fear, which is a bullish sign. So, you know, things were quite, uh, how do you say it? Things were quite normal, you know, like there was D-Day. It did happen on the 14th. It happened on the 13th for Bitcoin, although the predictions were from the 14th. So that's quite accurate. In fact, someone asked last night, so D-Day happened? Like what happened? Nothing much, nothing much, because people were already deleveraged, okay? So uh, let's see uh, what other things. Okay, this is what happened when Elon tweeted, people were rushing to put their Bitcoin into exchanges to sell. And then after that hoo-ha, people started taking out of exchanges, which is bullish again. So, you know, this is, this is the pump and dump of the Elon tweet. So let's see what happened to Bitcoin. There it was, the Elon dump came back down, came back up. And uh, I think we've been discussing this during the week. We knew that the predictions were that D-Day was supposed to happen on the 14th and the cycle high for Bitcoin, you know, the rally. When does the rally start that goes into the summer? What a surprise. It's supposed to start today and bang on the dot. That thing started this morning. So there's something going on here. Like Ash was saying, why is this going up? Why are the people... You know, why are the commercials not worried? Why, why are they preparing for all, for, for going, going upside, right? It's the cycles in Bitcoin. They are extremely, extremely accurate. So it's like, I want it short, but I think I better be careful because there's like, there's a cycle turnaround and there she goes again. And if this is like the other years, then we should see a rally in June and July. And then guess what? You know, what do we do, Paul? Uh, we have a rally and then we have classes again, right? When, when we go back into a bear trend. So that's really what's happening again and again and again and again. It's like, it's like so amazing. So what you can do if you're going to do that, I'm going to show you an account. This is my eToro account. That's it now. That's like 535. If you add this, I think it'd be 565, 575. All I'm doing- well, is, that, is that $560 or- 535%. Five it's 535 percent on your entire account yeah and it will be like today after today i think it'll be like 565 575 five months yeah so this is the most boring account in the world it just follows the flow you know january was bullish and then we had a correction right and then april was bullish and i was very slow during march during may because of d-day but now you know it's probably going to go up june and july and august you won't see the returns again i'm just doing this as trying to mimic Bitcoin and Ethereum by going through all the boring coins, you know, like Litecoin, Dash, Terra, Lumens, the old ones. So I don't have this thing related to uh, a lot of volatility and this is unleveraged. So that's why I can sleep at night, Ainsley. I don't do leverage on crypto. I totally avoid it. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, right. So, it's so you one know, of the really important things, Sukri, right? Yeah. That if you're going to trade crypto, first of all, know what the crap you're doing. Yes. And, and second of all, understand what you're actually risking, right? And if you can understand yeah. what you're actually risking, make good decisions. Look, it's just a market like any other market. You're a fair chance like any other market. The rewards are bigger. The dangers are real. Make some good decisions and then you go pretty well. And, you know, um, don't just close your eyes and throw a dart at the board and think it's going to work because it's not going to work in crypto like it's not going to work in anything else, right? Yeah, just, just watch watch your risk. You know, this market can go anywhere. But if you, it's like, it's really the classic thing of buying when there's blood on the streets. You say you want to do it, but you never do it. So oh, sometimes so what I try to do, because I know that Binance and all these exchanges are blowing people out, you know, during a downturn, you just put that, that buy order at a point where you're like, kind of sure it won't hit. And you know what, if it hits, you wake up tomorrow morning with a big game, like, where did that come from? Okay, that's it. So, right, um, really, uh, for most of this year, if you were prepared to uh, buy down between sort of 
45 and 50 and sell between 55 and 60, you're going to do okay, right? That has been now in a, in a long-term range. And, you know, welcome to the real world, uh, Bitcoin. You know, you've ranged for a few months. It has, it has. Uh, I'm getting bored. I have like 220,000 in Bitcoin. I'm getting bored, but that's okay. I'll just sleep on it. Um, not doing anything much now. <laughs> Uh, look, uh, this is a, we've got a question. It's probably not quite the question for this moment. David, look, I'll, I'll do it at the end of this. I'll do something and see if I can answer that for you. We're going to do some prizes later on as well. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can answer that question. It's probably not uh, one something for the crypto stuff right now, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah. Shukri, uh, thank you very much uh, yeah, crypto, for your guys, time. Guys, in crypto, I do minimum four hours, not, not less than that. I prefer daily, but if I'm going to go deep to find a buy point, four hours, that's it. Yeah, look, I've got to say, if you're not a particularly experienced trader and you want to trade on the one or five minute uh, chart, then the best thing you can do is just give that money to charity and, and save yourself the uh, aggravation. You know, it's it's pretty tough uh, down there uh, uh, to um, uh, to get into that kind of stuff if you're not experienced. I, I learned to trade on a one minute chart, and um, you know, um, you know, I've got to say, it's the only time I can remember in my trading journey where I've hated trading, where it was stressful, difficult, you know, no fun, and uh, trading's fun. Yes, my yes, please. And thank you very much, Shukri.